Commanders, welcome to the third part of our guide series. Today, we're going to discuss the modes that are available in Armored Warfare. Much like PvE, the player versus player modes consist of two basic modes and one endgame mode for advanced players. The basic PvP mode is called Random Battles. In it, two teams of 15 players fight each other until one of two victorious conditions is met. The battle ends either when one of the teams is entirely wiped out or with a base capture. One or two bases are always present on the battlefield in one of three configurations. In the standard configuration, each team has a base and capturing the enemy base ends the battle. In the encounter configuration, there is one base in the middle and both teams have to fight over it with the team that manages to capture it winning the match. In the assault configuration, one team called the defender has a base while the other team called the attacker does not. The attacker must either destroy all defenders or capture the defending base. Otherwise, the attacking team loses by default. There are no respawns in random battles. You only have one life and any death is a permanent one. This set of rules makes this mode a favorite for hardcore PvP players, as it requires a certain amount of skill to master. The second alternative PvP mode is called Global Operations. Once again, two teams of 15 players each fight each other, but the rules are very different. There are unlimited respawns in this mode, and getting killed will only delay you for a short amount of time before you can get back into the fight. Instead, the teams must fight over randomly appearing objects on the map that change their position every couple of minutes. Each team has a pool of points, and every second a team holds an objective removes a certain amount of points from the enemy point pool. Kills are secondary. In this mode, capturing objectives is what's really important. Another new element in this mode is that of wild cards. By capturing certain spots on the map, players can unlock several support abilities that can be activated at any point after that. These include an airstrike on a player-specific position, deployment of a UAV showing the position of enemy players, or deployment of defensive bunkers to guide a certain area. Despite their complex list of rules, global operations are the most relaxing and forgiving mode of the two, where mistakes are not punished by instant and final death. Players who master the art of PvP can proceed to form or join a battalion and participate in the Battalion Ranked Battles mode, earning fame and special rewards for their battalion. We will describe this mode in one of our future guides. In the next part of the series, we'll discuss various classes of vehicles that are available in the game. But until then, see you on the battlefield!